Hi guys, today we're going to look at the second top 5 list of switches. Previously we've looked at clicky switches, and this week it's all about the linear ones. This list is a reflection of my personal tastes, so they're sure to be different for other people, and the criteria for a good switch are different between people as well, of course. So please don't be offended if your favourite switches are not on this list. For me, the major focus is on key feel, but others, like sound, reliability, availability, etc., also play at least some role. Let's kick off with a switch I haven't been allowed to review yet, but which I actually have a fair amount of experience with, and that's Bloody's LK Light Strike switch. This might look a bit like a cherry switch, and indeed it's cherry mount, which is very useful, but it's actually an optical switch, using the slider as a shutter between an infrared LED and a photoresistor. This makes the switch contactless, which grants it extreme smoothness as well as reliability, leading to a lifetime conservatively estimated at 100 million cycles, although it should probably be expressed in hours instead, assuming that either the LED or the photoresistor is the element that gives out first. My only major gripe with this switch is that it's too light, so much so that it's rather easy to actuate with the weight of your fingers. Thankfully, it accepts cherry springs, so switch in some weight of your choice, do factor in that the bloody springs are shorter, and you end up with something pretty fantastic. I had briefly considered vintage Cherry MX Black for this position, but for me those are too stiff, not nearly as smooth as the optical switches, and less reliable as well. Next up at number 4 is the Ace Partech Hall Effect switch, which just like the previous entry is a modern, contactless switch, but instead of using optical sensing it uses electromagnetism to operate. They're also MX mount, and also boast a 100 million cycle lifetime, although I'm sure it's more than that, and they are also very smooth, but they have a few advantages over the bloody switch. I like the weighting better, but they do several spring weights, and swapping the springs is much easier than in most other designs, as the switches are clip-in and therefore don't require desoldering to open or replace. Ace Partech are still perfecting this design, and they're working on the clicky and tactile version as well, which I'm very interested in. Definitely want to see more of them. At number 3 is another Hall Effect switch, namely Micro Switch Hall Effect, which have a rather legendary reputation. They're robustly made and have an absolutely incredible 30 billion cycle lifetime, which basically means that these switches are, for lack of a better word, invincible. Using some back of the envelope calculations, I worked out that if you did nothing but push one button as fast as you could for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, it would take you well over a century to wear out that one key or, while typing during average working hours, nearly five millennia. They're very smooth as well, and furthermore, they clip in just like the Ace Patek switches, so you can open them without desoldering them, perfect for if you need to clean them. They have a great sound as well. Partially because of the acoustics of the switch and the thick materials used to make them, but also partly because they mounted the best keycaps made in all of history. And yeah, yeah, I know, these are not MX mount, but in this case, what's the point? The stock caps are way better than anything made today anyway. I've recorded some slow motion footage of one of these falling and hitting the table, watch this. The biggest disadvantage is probably that the boards these were found on are notoriously hard to make work on a modern system, so in practical terms these are very limited use. Getting close to the end, at number 2 we have the only traditional contact base switch on this list, namely Green Alps. Before I tried these switches I didn't even like linears, none of them. It was these that opened my eyes, I love these. Although they boast a lifetime that's absolutely pathetic compared to the previous contenders as just 20 million, and they have that famous Alp sensitivity to dust, it's really the feels that make this switch come alive. Despite being contact based, and probably because they're factory lubed, these are still very smooth, 
and just about everything about the travel is 100% perfect in my opinion. The distance is perfect, the waiting is perfect, they're smooth, and moreover they boast that classic Alps soundtrack which is arguably the best one on this list. Green Alps aren't that rare, but an even better source is to take the super common Black Alps and linearize them, which will give you a switch that's basically just as good, so I can highly recommend this. Of the vintage switches on this list, linear or linearized Alp switches are by far the most accessible. Finally, at number one, we have the switch that I'd personally base my switch on if I had to design a linear switch, Fujitsu Leaf Springs. These are technically contact-based switches, but, and this is the cleverness of the design, they use a return spring as the actuating element. So while it's a contact-based switch in theory, in practice it behaves just like a contactless switch. And the results show immediately this is probably the smoothest switch on this list. It's ridiculously smooth and it's perfectly weighted to boot, just absolutely gorgeous. They're not that uncommon, although not as common as ALP switches, but Fujitsu used all kinds of impossible protocols, so actually getting one of these that you can use is a big pain in the ass. But they are thankfully more resistant to dirt and dust because of their closed, protected design. They will eventually get rough with heavy use, but for the most part, these cats keep themselves pretty clean. Typing on these is just a joy, so silky smooth and responsive. And like the ALP switches, they have a killer typing sound. Alternatively, there's Fujitsu Magnetic Reed, which is just as good, contactless even, probably even smoother, except they're also even lighter, and much rarer. They're even capable of mounting MX caps, but considering Fujitsu made some of the best and thickest keycaps ever, I'm not sure why anyone would possibly want to do that. Well, that's it for this list. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite linear switches are. And see you in three weeks for the final instalment in this trilogy, where we look at tactile switches.